you might remember from a few episodes ago that we want to ensure that the concrete cures enough to allow the backfill to take place without putting too much pressure on the sides of the foundation. Well, it's about time to do that now. Let's have a look. So now with all the main floor finished, all the beams installed, plywood installed, TGIs installed, just imagine the four sides of the foundation are now fortified as one unit. And you can safely backfill now. I mean, all the forces from the backfill exerting on the sides of the foundation can actually be offset by all the supports from the beams and the joists and the whole floor assembly of the foundation. All the bracing has been removed. You can clearly see the floor system now. Pretty typical, you know, single family house. You see your beams, your TGIs, you see your point loading. Very typical job. We also spoke last time about grinding down the walls to remove all the imperfections in the joints where the form boards were. And this creates a nice flat surface so that you can apply your rigid insulation nice and flat and tight against the surface of the wall to give it a better uh, effective use of that insulation. Let's have another look from the main floor and see how the framing went. Have a look at the high side of the foundation. You note that the backfill material we use is not dirt, but instead we used three quarter crushed. And the reason why we did that is because we're not able to reach far enough with a machine to drop dirt backfill in there. But instead we're using a slinger to shoot the gravel exactly where we want it. And that gives us unlimited reach basically. We can shoot from the back of the property right to the most corner uh, extent of the, of the foundation towards the front. And see how we put the plywood against the neighbor's fence. The fence is actually made of aluminum. We don't want any gravel to be damaged in that. So this plow would act as a nice shield to block off from any rocks hitting it. Stick one last look at this area where there's going to be gravel slung into this side, of the side yard. And once they finish the backfill, they'll start working on putting sumps in the front of the property and then eventually digging away that, that front chunk of dirt and start doing their city connections for the sewer and the sanitary lines. On the main floor right now, the framers looks like they have a very good pace going. We should check back tomorrow. We should be able to see some walls up and hopefully uh, see the layout of the main floor.